my leggings ripped during my first yoga class because my coach put me in the downward dog position. Wow! Congratulations! Looks like you've unlocked a new chakra. But I don't think everyone wants to see it. Linda kicked me out of the room. After everyone left, I went back and asked her for private lessons. I'm so ashamed. I'll find stronger leggings. The leggings are not the problem. Yoga is for slim people. Linda told me to lose 100 pounds first, then go to her classes. I was oversized by nature, and I got tired of constant diets. That's why I wanted to do yoga for my soul. It was a pity that I was destined to master it alone. Oh, hey there! Are you new? I turned around and saw a crowd of women. Embarrassed, I rushed to the exit. But the new coach stopped me and gave me some spare leggings. You're about five months pregnant, am I right? I looked at the new students and realized that they were all pregnant. Their kind and friendly looks won me over, and I decided to go with it. Yes, five months. Welcome. Get dressed and let's get started. I wasn't bullied for my weight in the group, so I immediately felt free and mastered one pose after another. At one point, I even forgot about my extra weight. I have never met such a talented student. After giving birth, you might become a yoga coach. I was ashamed that I had to lie about being pregnant, but I didn't dare confess. After all, we became not only yoga teammates, but also friends. You can grab a cup of coffee with after class. <gasps> I had to come up with a gender and the name of my imaginary baby. And even download an ultrasound picture from the internet. However, Nancy made a shocking announcement. The next class will be in pairs. I started looking for a fake husband, but realized that I had gone too far. I decided to skip classes and pretend to be sick. Suddenly, I heard a knock on the door. Becca, open up! I brought you some chicken broth! I quickly messed myself up and spread tissues all around the apartment. I'm sorry, I don't want to infect you. But Nancy figured it all out. What a fool I am! You've never mentioned your baby's father. Nancy believed I was a single mother and offered to be my yoga partner. I agreed, but after class, a surprise awaited me. I told the girls about your situation, and we decided to support you. I was so touched by their kindness that I could no longer hide the truth. Girls, I need to tell you something. Nancy interrupted me, because that wasn't even the main surprise. As it turned out, she was going to move, and the studio was looking for a new coach. You are the best out of all of us, and you can replace me. I was so delighted that the decision to come clean left my mind. I never dreamed that I would become a coach someday, so I gladly agreed. However, Nancy warned me that the owner of the yoga studio had to approve me first. 
I seriously prepared my first class as a yoga coach. But I knew all my efforts had been in vain as soon as I saw my future boss. Huh? It was Linda, my first coach. Are you kidding me? She's lying. She's not even pregnant. She just eats a lot. <laughs> I collected my things while feeling those disapproving looks and headed towards the exit. Much to my surprise, everyone started following me. Hmm? Yes, you lied to us. But shaming someone for being overweight is rude. A coach is supposed to inspire others, not slow them down while they are chasing their dreams. Nancy helped me rent a gym where I started teaching yoga. And I became so successful that eventually Linda's clients started coming to me, which forced her to look for a job at my studio. Beauty is not about having a perfect body. It's about having a kind heart and a beautiful soul. <laughs> 